Hello students. So let's try to solve one very interesting problem. And uh, this is from gate 2023. This is question number 15. The question is straightforward, but analysis is really very good. So we will just try to just go for the complete analysis and then we will reach the final option. Okay. And uh, I, for this particular question, I have talked a lot, lot of people from a lot of my students, my colleagues. And finally, I take help of Koenthanoji as well as the, the Wikipedia and uh, chat GPT give me the final intuition. Okay. So let me uh, share my own idea about this particular problem. So what is this particular problem? There is a Hamiltonian operator for hydrogen atom. L square operator is very famous magnitude square of uh, angular momentum operator. L is the angular momentum operator in a vector form. And LZ is uh, the uh, Z component of angular momentum. And in this problem, we have to check whether 1S is the common eigenstate of all these four or not. Or we have to choose 1s is the eigenstate of h or not, l square or not, lz or not, l or not. So we will come 1s later, but before that, let's discuss this problem in a holistic manner. So if we have any state that is nlm, if I am talking about nlm, that means we have a radial wave function r nl r and spherical harmonics L and M, theta and phi. I am talking about general, not a specific L is equal to 0, 1. I am just talking about general. Then, obviously, H with the eigen, sorry, this will be eigenstate of H. This will be the eigenstate of L square. This will be the eigenstate of LZ. But this state is not eigenstate of L. Why? Because L is nothing but LXI plus LYJ plus LZK. So this is my L operator. And here we all know that LX and LY is not going to commute. Similarly, LX and LZ is not going to commute and LY, LZ is also not going to commute. So hence, they are not going to commute according, and commutation algebra will tell you, hence they are not going to commute, then it is impossible to get the common eigenstate for those operators who are not going to commute. So up to this point, and this is then this statement is a straightforward given into Kohanthanoji. So up to this uh, particular uh, statement, up to this point, if I am talking about general NLM, then we have option H, L square, and LZ. And we have also all the information about expectation value of LX on the state psi NLM is equal to 0, expectation value of LY on the psi NLM is equal to 0, and the expectation value of LZ on psi NLM is equal to MH cut. For the particular in general value of NLM, we can assume that my X, LX operator, LY operator, and LZ operator are entirely different. Now, let's go for a some state and some state of hydrogen atom that is the energy eigenstate of hydrogen atom that is something like N00. So, when we have this sort of state, which is spherically symmetric. Spherical symmetric. What is the meaning of spherical symmetric? Means if we are talking about this sort of state, then we have radial wave function R and LM, and this is Y00, and this Y00 is nothing but 1 upon 4 pi. And if we are talking about 1 upon 4 root under 1 upon 4 pi, it is not dependency on theta and phi. What is meaning of that? Meaning of that, we cannot differentiate x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. 
I can change my x to y, y to z if my system is spherical in nature. The symmetry is not going to broken if you are changing the axis or you are changing the direction actually. So why, if I am taking 1s state, so I am talking about 1s state is basically R10, Y00. And if we are talking about 1s state, so 100, the expectation value of X, 100, the expectation value of X is equal to zero. Similarly, the expectation value of Y is also zero. And similarly, the expectation value of Z is also zero. What is the meaning of that? Meaning of that, you cannot identify what is your X axis, what is your Y axis, what is your Z axis. The expectation is same. So if it is a spherical symmetric system, and if it is a spherical symmetric system, we cannot differentiate x direction, y direction, and z direction. So similarly, we cannot differentiate LX operator, LY operator, and LZ operator. So it is entirely different thing. So if you are not able to differentiate LX operator, LY operator, LZ operator, then you can easily say for that particular state, which is spherically symmetric, the LX, LY, LZ is commute. So for a spherical symmetric system, a spherical symmetric system, system, our LX, LY, or a spherical, sorry, not a spherical, a spherical symmetric state, we are talking about not system, a spherical symmetric system, LX, LY, LZ are going to commute. And if we are going to write the L operator, if we are going to write the L operator, so I can use this space to write this particular L operator. This L operator is a, in a vector form is given by H cut upon I cap. And we have theta cap direction, del upon del theta. And uh, my, sorry, this is your, just a minute. So this will be phi cap direction, not theta cap. This will be phi cap direction, del upon del theta minus theta cap direction, one upon sine theta del upon del phi. So I am using the basically expression given into Griffith. Okay. So you can just check page number 180. And I think this is second edition book. So yes, from 180, this is given into Griffith. And you can easily say that this L operator has only dependency on theta and phi. And in our 1s, we have, so if you will write 1s, this will be 1 upon pi a naught cube e to the power minus r upon a naught, where a naught is bore radius. So this is your 1s uh, state. And obviously, if you are going to operate on 1s state, it is nothing to do. This is just like a constant. This is just like a constant. And whatever with the angular part, it is there into this particular constant, 1 upon root 4 pi. So for a spherical symmetric system, sorry, for a spherical symmetric state, I can claim that LX, LY, LZ can be simultaneously measurable. And if they can be simultaneously measurable, then if they can be simultaneously measurable, then I can dare to write that L will be the also operator whose eigenstate is 1s. Not only 1s, any spherical symmetric state N0, 0 will be the eigenstate of L. So in general, this L is not very useful because its all component is not going to commute. 
but here this l has some role can have some role because we cannot differentiate between lx direction ly direction and lz in a matrix of lx ly and lz due to this spherical symmetric thing so from my point of view i will go for the option b so let's see what will be the final answer from the gate point of view so if or obviously this can be also answer that l h l square l z if you are talking about any general nlm but in the problem the catch is 1s so if you are talking about s shell then it is spherically symmetric and yes then l can work there so if you have any more idea if you want to discuss more please uh, write uh, in the comment and uh, we will appreciate if you have much better uh, discussion of this thing we can have much better discussion from this but up to that whatever i have done my mind is storming whatever i have think i can take a risk i can dare that i will say that l will also the this one s is also eigen state of l because it is s orbital otherwise obviously h l square lz will be the answer let's see how things go on. go on so thank you Okay.